Rapunzel's escape by the metal box, you play as Rapunzel, who is trapped in the tower. You must destroy the big witch and find your way to the knight who is outside of the tower. When you start, you have very little hair, unlike in the fairy tale. This is why you must go through the different rooms of the castle and collect hair conditioner, which grows your hair longer. Enemies often have knives and sharp objects which can cut off your hair. When your hair is cut off, you can collect hair potions which will grow your hair by one segment. Once you collect hair conditioner, your hair will grow longer, allowing you to swing it around like a lasso. This is how you attack enemies in the game. When you are near an enemy, you turn in the opposite direction or you jump in the air so your hair hits them, sending them flying into the air. If they hit walls or any other object, more damage will be inflicted. There are many different enemies in this game, including little and big witches, goblins, spiders, and bats. By defeating all the enemies in a room, you can move to a room outside of the one you are currently in. Sometimes there are hidden rooms, which you can enter by walking through stone blocks that are slightly different colors than normal. There are so many different rooms, but you don't have to go into all of them, as long as you find the big witch. Once you find her, you must defeat her using the same way you defeat normal enemies, except she's bigger, stronger, and harder to destroy. After this is completed, the player should find a knight who is sleeping at the bottom of the tower. Then you should start climbing the tower again until you come upon a, the largest bottle of hair conditioner. Congratulations, you've completed the game. The first time I played this game, it took me a while to find out where the big witch was, where the knight was, and where the giant hair conditioner was. After this, this game is very easy to complete. When filming this video, I completed the game in about 15 minutes, when originally the game took me about an hour. Another bad thing about this game is that when you have short hair, it's very hard to destroy an enemy without them attacking you. Although the gameplay is the same throughout the whole game, and there is not much difference between all of the rooms, this game is very addicting. But after finding the big witch, there was nothing else to do. Which is why I think the creator should have put the witch at the very top of the tower, and had the player start at the very bottom. Besides these few things, the game is very fun. The controls are great too. The jumping is very smooth, and the walking system seems realistic, even though it is a 2D game. I just think this game has very little replayability value. I give Rapunzel's Escape a 6.5 out of 10. In my opinion, the Metal Box's Merlin Revenge series is much better, full of a lot more action.